Shalom, uh, Body of Christ. Uh, today is April the 17th, 2022. Happy um, Pesach, Passover. Uh, firstly, I just want to come on here, and uh, for those of you just tuning in or may have just uh, caught this word um, uh, today, uh, Father has brought you here to listen to this word. I give him all of the glory. I just want to state uh, that uh, Father has appointed me uh, humbly as the ambassador to the nations, and I am addressing you today um, to share with you the uh, dream that he gave me last night with words. Uh, this is very important to the timeline that Father is um, revealing to some of us at this hour. And I want to start off by prayer first, in prayer, excuse me. With the key of David, I just uh, plead the blood of Christ over this communication. I place the cloak of invisibility over our minds, bodies, and spirit, and our hearts. And I give Father Ahaya all of the glory. Amen. Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go through the pages here so that you understand. Uh, I did post this in the community section of the uh, YouTube page. However, Father is having me speak it and address the nations today. So humbly, I come before you uh, as your sister in Christ. And uh, I'm being obedient to what Father has asked me to speak boldly. Okay, so I'm going to give you a description of the um, current events uh, in prophecy that Father has shown me personally. And um, I'm going to go through those now with you. Give me just one moment. So it starts off with, of course, I'm coming on to tell you about the dream that he showed me last night. However, it goes back a couple of days here. So I'm going to go through these uh, pages with you. So please bear with me. Okay, so as you can see on the screen here, on March the 20th, 2022, Father Ahaya had reminded me that he had given me a word uh, as I slept that night. And the word was ku, okay? Now, we prophesy in part, of course, so I'm just receiving all of this and putting all of the pieces uh, together. So um, let me tell you a little bit about the word coup. Uh, a coup is a sudden, violent, and illegal seizure of, of power from a government, okay? So that was the word that he gave me on, again, March the 20th, 2022. Fast forward to today, again, April 17th, 2022. This is what he showed me last night. And of course, I just uh, entered the um, the... I have added, excuse me, rather, I have added here the um, scripture in which it mentions the 42 months. So last night I was shown a dream of Trump at the Oval Office. He was seated and signing documents at the desk. He wore his presidential blue suit and red tie. I then heard Father say, he will be allowed 42 months. Now, please keep in mind that Trump was the furthest thought from my mind when going to bed last night. And so uh, just keep that in mind. Now then, this brought me to a, a video that uh, Sister Carrie Ann Giddon uh, bore witness to these words. Because in this video, which you will see here on the screen, the lower right hand, she published this April 6th of 2022. Okay. And in it, she mentions that the same thing, um, that Donald Trump will return and it will be done by force through a coup. Okay. Now, we all prophesy in part. And so again, I'm being obedient uh, and coming forth and sharing this word boldly. I stand by every word, dream, vision, audible that Father Ahaya has granted me to speak on this channel. So I just want to, um, you know, just state that, that uh, this is being done out of obedience and Father will continue. I believe and I have faith that Father will continue to lay out the timeline before us. And as I said, um, I do, uh, I do believe in the um, scriptures and, and not only the scriptures, of course, but the, um, sorry about that. Uh, the, um, the dreams and visions that Father has shown me uh, regarding Obama returning as well. Those things will happen when Father ordains them to happen. Um, so just please keep this in mind and take every word spoken in thus saith the Father Ahaya uh, to uh, him directly for confirmation. So 
again, just sharing this out of obedience, and I pray that it blesses you. I pray that uh, you're able to also bear witness to this, and I give Father Ahaya all the glory. Amen.